Before and after satellite images show lakes appearing across Sahara after deluge of rain soaks the desert. Lakes appeared in the Sahara Desert captured in satellite images after a cyclone dumped a year's worth of rain on northern Africa in just a few days. Lakes have appeared in the Sahara after a cyclone brought a deluge of rain to northern Africa that drenched swaths of the largest hot desert on Earth, satellite, satellite images show. An extra tropical cyclone hit parts of Morocco, Algeria, Tunisia and Libya September 7 and 8, dropping around 8 inches, that's 20 centimeters, on the affected areas equivalent to an entire year's worth of rainfall in just a few days, according to NASA's Earth Observatory. The deluge and runoff filled multiple ephemeral lakes in the Sahara, including the Sebka el Malé in Algeria, and several dotted around the Erg Chebi, a vast expanse of the star dunes in Morocco. NASA's Moderate Resolution Imaging Spectrodiameter, MODIS for short, on the Terra satellite also captured several ephemeral lakes appearing across parts of Morocco and Algeria. The Erg Chebi lakes filled after rivers from the nearby Atlas Mountains overflowed, close to Merzouka, a town near the Algerian border that serves as a gateway to the Star Dunes. An image captured on October 1st by one of the Copernicus Sentinel-2 satellites shows new lakes dotted around the edges of Erg Chebi. NASA's Landsat 9 satellite captured the images of the newly filled Sebka El Mela Lake in Algeria. Images captured August 12 and September 29 and shared by Earth Observatory showed changes to the landscape with a green lake appearing in the desert. The lake covered 74 square miles, that's 191 square kilometers, and was approximately 7.2 feet deep. According to calculations by Moshe Arman, a senior lecturer at the Hebrew University of Jerusalem, Arman used satellite images to establish the extent of the water combined with a 3D map of the lake according to Earth Observatory. Since 2000, there have been two times when water levels at Shebka El Mela were higher than they are now. In 2008, the lake filled after an extra extratropical cyclone had led to exceptionally heavy rainfall, it took four years for the lake to completely dry up again. The water currently filling Sebka El Mala was likely, will likely remain for some time. If we don't get any more rain events, a 2.2 meter depth like we have now would, be, would take about a year to evaporate completely, Armand said. Understanding how rainfall events like the cyclone in September impact the Sahara helped researchers better understand what the desert was like thousands of years ago when it was green and how it will change in the future as a result of climate change. Current projections suggest parts of the Sahara will receive more rainfall, but there are huge uncertainties. What's going to happen in the Sahara remains very unclear, though we hope that we'll eventually develop a better understanding of the Sahara's future by studying these lake-filled events, Amon said. This is from Hannah Osborne on Live Science. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. I really support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.